Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history of the language and words we use every day. If that's the sort of thing you're interested in, subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss a word. Recently, I've been hearing some of my favorite content creators called grifters in the media. Let's take a look at that word and see if we can find out what they mean by that. Grifter, noun, one who misuses her position in public or political life to reap dishonest gain or advantage. History and etymology. Before looking into this word, I thought it had a much more narrow definition based on its usage in the recent news articles I mentioned earlier. I thought it would be something more specifically political and have to do with lying about what you believe to scam someone into giving them your money. When it really just means a scam artist or a con artist. I seem to be coming across a lot of words lately with ambiguous origins, and grifter is one of these words. Grifter seems to be a vowel change, possibly an American vowel change, from an A sound in graft to an I sound in grift. So this older form of the word grifter was grafter. Graft, the root of grafter, came into English naturally through its Germanic roots, and goes all the way back to Proto-Germanic grab, which meant to dig or carve. It's also the origin of words like groove, engrave, or grave. The last word wasn't always just a noun representing a hole in the ground where dead bodies are buried. It used to be a verb meaning to dig. The definition of the word grave eventually expanded to include work, especially menial or degrading work, like digging holes or digging graves, as I mentioned before. And as this word gathered more and more kind of disdain and became more of a rude way of describing someone's work, and as the sound changed to graft instead of grave, it became associated with the worst kinds of work and sometimes criminal or even dishonest means of making money. And eventually, in the carnivals in the United States, the A sound changed to an I and it became grift, grifter, and grifting, which is the word we hear today. Prescription and Commentary this is one of those words I was really tempted to add a new definition alongside a traditional one. I think mainly because I misinterpreted how people were using the word. I didn't realize they were just flat out calling some of my favorite content creators like Sargon of Akkad conmen or scammers, scam artists. And... And what really inspired me to look into this word was one of Sargon's recent videos after his press conference, where the article was referring to him as a grifter. And at that point, I thought the word really had something to do with lying about what you believe to, give, to convince people to give you their money, which still is technically a confidence game or a con game, but it didn't but I still don't think the term fits. Because, I mean, the way people like Sargon and other content creators make money is through advertising revenue. No one's getting tricked with that. And through platforms like Patreon or Subscribestar. Those, I think they're very different from things like Indiegogo or Kickstarter. The Patreon model, I've always viewed it as you're not paying for future content. You're paying for stuff you've already watched. By the time somebody's subscribing to a Patreon or Subscribestar, they've already watched a bunch of content. They're not expecting some content to be made in the future. They're paying for services that are already rendered. And if those services stop being rendered, they can stop subscribing to those, to those creators on those platforms. That's... So I don't think those particular platforms are going to be the best platform for con artists. Con artists are trying to take your money without giving you anything in return. And even if you think 
these people are lying in their content, they're still providing content that people are enjoying watching and getting something out of. What would be a con would be something like going on Indiegogo, where you build up all of the money beforehand, before the project even gets started, and promising, a let's say, a series of videos, a, a large number of videos based on tropes versus women in video games or something like that. And you build up this hype around it and you build up this confidence in you from the audience and they give you a large sum of money up front. And then once the campaign has ended, you've received all the money, you just don't complete the work. You don't complete the number of videos that you have promised. I think that's something that more closely fits the definition of a grift, or someone that does it, a grifter. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or you think you've learned something, leave a like and share it with your friends who you think might learn something or enjoy this video as well. And since I've been talking about Patreon and Subscribestar, I thought I might as well let you know that I'm set up on both of those services. So if you'd like to help support the program and support this show, please follow the links down below to find out more. And until next time, keep on learning.